Okay, so we have this uh, MacBook board that was uh, shipped into us. User states that the uh, system may have water damage on it and it's uh, not powering on. So what we've done is plugged our power adapter in and we can see that uh, we have power and it's green light power. Uh, we did notice that the uh, LED video adapter here was damaged it was uh, popping off so we soldered that back on and what we're going to do is do a keyboard bypass on this so we're going to take and position our probe not to this one but to this one so we hit that and it triggers on the system for us so we know that um, it has power. We know that it's running. Uh, so the system uh, was sent in saying that they did not have power and it would not turn on. We uh, got to turn on and do power here. Um, of course, we stuck a stick of memory in it and everything seems to be fine. So what we're going to do is take and put this uh, back out and uh, notify our user and let them know. Okay, so we've changed the parts on this Mac and what we're going to do is we have everything plugged in and we're going to push the power button and it appears that we have a fan, we have a chime. Let's see if we get video on it. It appears that it's initializing the hard drive. I can hear it. CD drive is spinning up. All we need is the Apple symbol to show us that uh, we have a BIOS and a boot. So before with this we had to do keyboard bypass. There was no uh, initialization out of the keyboard. There was nothing off the... Uh, we had to hit it over here because when we pushed the keyboard button there was there was nothing going through the power button on the keyboard so now we're gonna have to uh, wait and see what happens now as far as the screen we did have um, a uh, a lighted screen like that so this may be we may have a fuse issue on this one not exactly sure because we have uh, high capacitors over here on this side, no real, um, no real issue as far as that goes, and now it's turned itself off. So uh, this may take another second to figure out what's going on with it, but I can keep uh, pushing the power button and getting it to turn on. You know, so we can, we do have it turning on. We do have screen initialization without the keyboard bypass. Um, that right there, that turned off. I'm not exactly sure. That may be a touch on something. So what we're going to do is test this a little bit further and see what's going on. But most likely, um, we'll see if it's going to work after the fact. But for right now, it it is... Uh, doing some improved with the new parts so we're gonna go from there and see what happens okay so now we have our MacBook we took it apart and it was shutting off randomly well come to find out it was uh, this part right here touching uh, so we just took it off what it does is it hooks up right here and that's part of it was touching the uh, DC jack and was grounding out the case. So what we're going to do is turn this on and um, we get a chime, we get it to turn on and so we're going to see uh, if we can't get an Apple screen most likely we will. We hear everything initializing and we hear the fans and the hard drive and uh, everything like that we see that the fan is running and so we're just gonna wait for the system to boot up
so we have an Apple logo there and we know that the uh, system is working let's see if it'll load scrolly wheel so we'll see if it actually goes into the Apple OS most likely it will we have everything plugged up and turned on our only thing is left to uh, mount the motherboard and the logic board and put the bottom on so we'll see what happens we'll continue to let it boot let me test the battery while we're sitting here thinking about it so we have a fully functioning battery so we know that the battery is charging and everything's working with that This may take it a few minutes for it to actually boot into it. It's not uncommon for it to take this long. So it appears we have a booting system. Looks like it's going into the OS just fine. Uh, hence the reason why we had the screen. We have the mouse cursor there. It actually looks like it's doing an install. So we know that it's working. We know everything's good with it. So what we're going to do is turn this off, unplug it, button everything up, uh, screw all the screws in, do what it needs to do and then uh, turn it back on one more time and see where we go from there and see if we got it working and then we'll call it complete after that if it starts up okay so we have it sitting here so what we're going to do is turn it on and it appears that it turns on and what we're going to do is get our underside so we know that uh, our panel is on there so we have our panel, our plate, on our system. So we know everything's good with it as far as that's concerned. So we're going to see if it uh, boots up and what it does. Um, I'm expecting it to do what it needs to do. We have a light right here. Um, we push the power button and we get a backlight. So we know that it's starting up and we hear everything running we see the apple symbol so we know that it's good um, same as before so we're going to call this one complete we're going to turn it off and uh, just put it in the box and say it's done so this one's complete